Holy, 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 good God, I'm singing to Jesus. Jesus, I'm singing for you. I've been expecting you, detective. Father, you? Father, you. <laughs> Don't you remember that I left the priesthood when you were at most precious blood? Yes. Do you remember me? Yes, yes, I do. You were the kid that got straight A's and set records in basketball, football, baseball for the school that still haven't been broken. Yes, yeah, so what? This school has taught you well. Unfortunately, I can't say the same for you, Father. You're an interesting man, Detective. Why did you get kicked out, Father? There were allegations that I was dealing drugs. You remember when those nuns dragged me down the steps? Yes. It was humiliating. They were cruel. Well, in fairness, you were dealing drugs to the students. There's so... still ways to do things. You don't embarrass somebody. What I did was wrong, but I was discreet about it. You got to give me that. I won't give you that. You're going to burn in hell. Well, maybe, but you know what they say. I hope they serve beer in hell. That's not a saying, that's an airport book title. No, you're an airport book title. Really? Yes, Tuesday with Moron. This is ridiculous. OK, how about six jerk-offs I hope not to meet on my way to heaven? OK, cut, everybody. I don't know what's going on here. I'm confronting the Catholic Church. It's controversial and brave. Oh, that's never been done. Plus, my guy's traumatized from his years at school here. So why do you make him the captain of every team? Why is he the best student ever? Yeah, well, that's how he's dealing with his trauma. You know, he succeeds in all these areas. He's overcoming adversity. Who's this? It's good character. My manager, Kyle Sosnowski. I know his manager. Oh, Kyle. 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 Oh, yeah, big fan. I didn't know you had a manager. Yeah, yeah he changed oh, my yeah. whole career. I'm gonna web series because of him. That's right. Is this it? Yeah. This is the web series. Yeah, it's very you make serious. Make much money on this. Well, it's not a money thing. He told me it's a... It's, it's an integrity a, thing. Well, it yeah. certainly isn't it's a money thing for me. I just wanted to know if you got the grapes. We're ready to shoot, guys. Oh, okay. Are we ready to shoot? Are we yeah. ready to shoot? Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Jesus. Remember Sister Bernadette? She was strict. She would hit me with that big ruler. There's this one nun, Sister Angela. She used to hit us with this big ruler. We had this one nun, Sister Rita. Boy, would she whack us with that big ruler. <laughs> What's going on here? You're doing the same story. Oh, it's Catholic school stuff. Morning prayers, afternoon prayers, confession. Become an altar boy, you get the day off. Remember when they changed those habits? I didn't know nuns had hair till then. Don't get me started on hootenanny mass. They suddenly are lay workers playing moon shadow while Father Mooney gives her the stink eye. It's bad writing. If I had a ruler, I'd hit you with it. If I had a bat, I'd hit you with that too. And this is not a priest talking. This is a patron of the arts, Danny Aiello. Today's episode was a, uh, it was really a, a full frontal assault, a psychic assault on the Catholic Church. And action. I started to travel and ended up in Ismir, Turkey, which was originally the city of Smyrna. That was where Catholicism started. And one day, an apparition came to me with a revelation. And what exactly was that revelation, Father? That I was not a holy man. I was actually a fallen angel. And that my destiny was that I needed to come back to where it all began and murder you, detective. Who's this? I'm his partner. His life partner? <laughs> How nice. No, police partner. I don't play that life partner stuff. Well, sounds like you've got an anti-homophobic attitude. I've never been anti-homophobic in my life. And who's this? I'm the other partner. What are you doing in the Catholic Church? Aren't you a Buddhist? That's a microaggression. So sorry. Oh, and that's a macroaggression. As a matter of fact, I'm a Catholic. More of a Catholic than you. This is it, Father. Give it up. Have you ever really looked at the sky? It's fascinating, isn't it? New York, the city, the city of dreams, from downtown to midtown, even through uptown. Can we stop this, please? I gotta talk to the director. God damn it. Right before he left, Mr. Aiello pulled me aside and, um, you know, very, very kindly and, and generously um, told, told me to quit. 
uh, this the project just said this was a losing battle. Worse than a talking horse movie. It's almost a talent to be able to put together groups of words that can form sentences but mean nothing. Now, he thinks he's confronting the Catholic Church. What he's confronting is his own mediocrity. I feel bad saying that because he's such a talented guy. But in this case, uh, I'm missing the point. I don't know what's going on here.